Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm a co-founder of Total, and welcome to the first video in our Introduction to Total video course. Today, we're going to learn how to create a new project in Total, how to create a new branch so we can make changes, and finally, we'll take a tour of the Total editor. So I'm here on our website, and I've already logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Total application. You can see here I've got quite a lot of projects because I've been using Total for a long time. Uh, but I want to create a new project today. So right, right off the bat, you get to pick between a couple of different templates. These can be a really good way to sort of get a feel of what Total can do and how to solve different kind of problems in Total. So I highly recommend checking out the templates. Today, we're going to start out with a calculator app. So I'm going to pick, first of all, an emoji for this app. And then I'm going to give it the name of my calculator. And you'll notice it also suggests an ID. And this is where you'll be able to find uh, the, the live application when it's ready. Right. So now we're on the project details um, page. This lets us see each project. It lets us click this little uh, preview link and see the actual live site. And it also lets us create branches. And we need to create a new branch in order to actually get started uh, with Total and make changes to our project. Um, let's go and call it starting. That seems like a good enough name. Now, one more thing I want to show is that throughout Total, everywhere you go, you'll see this little uh, learning center uh, button up in the top right. And if you click that, you'll get more information about whatever it is you're currently working on. So if you're here on the projects page, it'll tell you about creating a new project and getting started, creating new branches. As we go to the editor, you'll see that it'll constantly update with try to suggest helpful information about what you're currently working on. So if you get stuck, if you're unsure about anything, always check out the learning center. It'll probably have information about what you need to do. Anyway, we've created our branch. Now let's go and open Toddles Editor. Right, so here we're in Toddles Editor, um, and I'm gonna take you through the UI and the different parts of it, and we're gonna start in the top left. So right here, you can see the current project and the current branch I'm on. And if we click this little item up here, we're gonna open up the project panel. Now the project panel shows you everything that you have it in your project. So all the pages, all the components, everything that's in your project, you can find in this panel. Right now, we only have a single home page in it. Um, next up, we have our left panel. The left panel is everything about this current component we're looking at, or in this case, this current page we're looking at. And right now we're on the home page. And it has two tabs. The first tab will see everything that makes up this page. So all the different elements inside this, we'll be able to see, we can select the different elements, we can even collapse some of them and hide them if we want to do that. Everything that makes up this page, you can be fine in this layout panel. The second tab is our data tab. And this is everything about um, every sort of data, every var variable, every API this component or page has access to, you can find and modify here. Later on in this course, as we start building more complex applications, we'll be using the data tab a lot to set up different kinds of data and different kinds of interactions for this component. Next up, we've got the main stage. And the main stage lets you view your application um, running directly inside Total. Uh, we can rechange, we can resize the size of the, the canvas here in the middle uh, to view your application at different sizes. And we can also click directly on the uh, canvas to select different elements. In addition, by holding down control or command, you can also zoom in and out. And this can be really useful. You can even hold down space and pan around. This can be really useful for um, getting those tiny details just right. Next up, we've got our button bar. So the first thing on the bottom bar here is our test button. So right now we're in what we call design mode, where you're essentially selecting elements, you're designing and building your applications. If we click on the text button, instead we'll switch into test mode. And here we can start interacting with our component. Um, 
and see how it works. We can test out that the functionality and everything works the way it should. And we can turn that off again, either by clicking the test button, we can also toggle it with just pressing T. Then we've got some uh, quick shortcuts for switching between different breakpoints. This can be really useful for um, quickly checking if your application works responsively at different sizes. And finally, we've got undo and redo buttons as well. Down here, we can also see all the active users that are currently working on this branch. So if, you have multi if you're working with other people and you're live editing the same branch at the same time, they'll show up down here in the bottom bar. Right, we're already familiar with our uh, learning center, and we notice because we clicked around in the elements over here, this now talks about the different kinds of elements and jumps directly to that kind of information. So, if you want to try and if you if you're working with in total and there's anything you're not sure about, try giving it a click, and it might update the learning center and tell you more about that specific thing that you just interacted with. So it's a really good way as you're getting into Toddle to get unstuck if there's something that's bothering you. Finally, uh, we've got our right panel. And right panel, where the left panel was everything about the current component you've got selected, the right panel is everything about the current element inside that component. So first up, we have the style panel. This lets you style everything. It changes everything visual about about <coughs> change everything visual about uh, the current element you're working with. We've got the attribute tab. This lets you change different attributes for different elements. Uh, this can be really important for things like inputs and uh, image elements. That's got a lot of attributes for them to work. And again, we'll cover all of that in detail in, in later videos. And finally, we've got the events tab. And this allows you to sort of um, wait, react to user events that are interacting with this element. So for example, in the case of this button, uh, that it'll have a click event. And this lets you define what should happen when this button gets clicked. And again, later on this course, we'll dive into what working with events and workflows and all that, and you'll become an expert in no time. So this was a quick overview of the total editor. Um, We'll be rolling out the rest of these videos as they get made. So if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, make sure to do that now so you'll get notifies, notified when the next video is ready. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy Toddle.